in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Keep praying, keep praying, open up your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're still going to pray one prayer point. Matthew chapter 13. Woo. The presence of God is mighty in this place. Matthew chapter 13. We'll read from verse 14. Matthew chapter 13. <sighs> mighty God. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive next verse for these people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and i should heal them next verse but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear just keep that verse there say blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear turn this into a prayer and command your eyes to see and for your ears to hear lift your voice and pray blessed are your eyes for they see Shalabata <laughs> are you praying everyone open my eyes so God open my eyes that I may behold one rose things from out of your word hallelujah Praise the Lord. Please be seated and be very sensitive while that happens to you. Be sensitive. The power of God is mighty in this place. And what the Lord is about to show us will truly be a key that will lift us in the name of Jesus. This entire seven days will be a feast of keys in the name of Jesus Christ. That God will grant us grace, spiritual illumination. Hallelujah. Tonight, very briefly, 
we'll start off there is there is so much to share i just pray that these seven days will really allow us to do justice to these truths praise the lord but god by his word is appearing unto us and he will bless and lift us in the name of jesus christ the power of god is coming on someone in overflow one there is a lady in overflow one please carry the person and bring the person i want to speak to the person before we get to the word i'm seeing the hand of god rest on a lady in overflow one please bring the lady and let's trust god for grace can we still pray for that and say lord do something in my life give me results give me real results take me past the realm of guessing to the realm of mastery in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is saying he is bringing the captivity of your family to an end you see it will sound like a joke until you hear the testimony when Jimmy was sharing here this is the word of God come straight and it's over except the word does not come when it comes to you that is the end of it this is what we came for that we will encounter his word listen listen let me tell you something challenges are relative they are relative to the grace that confronts them challenges are not general it depends on the grace that confronts them that's why god is granting us access he's granting us illumination praise the lord illumination illumination even by his spirit this row just right here this row down i'm seeing two people who are receiving the spirit of revelation just this last row down like this this is what i'm seeing in the spirit the spirit of revelation and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me two of them and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet and the spirit entered me and the spirit entered me if someone praying let your spirit be alive you are not only watching you are receiving like kenny shared there is a grace to receive a grace to receive a grace to receive be sensitive gentlemen be sensitive grace to receive grace to receive overflow to overflow to the lord is bringing speed i'm seeing like an arrow but this is not evil this is a grace a grace please bring them overflow to Someone's hunger is touching the heavens. We'll get to the word shortly. Let's just do justice to what God is doing. God is bringing speed. Overflow two. Particularly overflow two. Speed. No more delay by the Spirit of God.
pay and the people say holy 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 and the people say holy 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 and the people say holy holy and the people say holy No more delay in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names God is taking away limitations he's doing it by his spirit he's taking away limitations he's taking away limitations he's taking away limitations in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah father bless our hearts in the name of jesus please be seated one of the ushers the spirit of the lord is saying i should tell you the set time has come this is one of the ushers just the ushers the set time has come the set time has come this is a prophetic word for one of the ushers the set time has come that's what the Lord is saying and when God speaks like this there is a grace that brings and makes for performance one of our ushers the Lord is prophesying that your set time has come Jeremiah chapter 9 let's get to the word the glory that excels Jeremiah chapter 9 we we'll start from verse 23 23 Thus saith the Lord, please pay attention, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Next verse. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me that he understandeth and knoweth me the Bible starts by listing four categories of people alongside the fact that every of those dimension carries glory he starts by saying let not the wise man glory in his wisdom so there is glory in that level of wisdom that wisdom there is not divine wisdom Sophia human wisdom scientific wisdom wisdom that is a product of exploring life for a long time it says let not please go back 23 let not the wise man glory in his wisdom when the bible says to not do something it means that it is possible to do it are we together that means there is a level of glory that the wisdom of this world can bring then he moves to the next level he says neither let the mighty man glory in your might so there is glory in might there are men and women with all kinds of might intellectual might military might and there is a level of glory that you see there number three he says let not the rich man glory in his riches it means there is glory in riches are we together that it is possible for you to be rich and there is a glory there and then he says but let him that glory it so in any case there must be glory but he's only giving you a reference listen carefully he is not saying glory in strength and all of this and he's showing you an excellent dimension that there is glory in the wisdom of men are we together now there is glory in might there is glory in riches however this is the kind and the dimension i want your glory to be a derivative of the fact that you understand and you know me because in understanding and knowing me there is a representation of all these glories you forsake that you ignore the glory that comes with the wisdom of men 
you ignore the glory that comes with might aside from God you ignore the glory that comes with riches outside of God and then you seek to understand and know him he says there is a glory that is in that experience that is surpassing greater than the glory that comes all of these dimensions of glory they are there but he's showing you that there is a glory that excels there is a glory that excels the wisdom of men there is a glory that excels the might of men there is a glory that excels earthly riches he says that glory is a product of an encounter that you understand and you know me that means that if four of us stand we can both emit levels of glory but i can trace the basis of that glory i can know that your glory comes just from earthly riches your glory comes from sophia human wisdom your glory comes from the military might but i can look at a man and know that this one this glory is a product of knowing god is it not written in your bible that the people that do know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits the word glory is very important the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth listen carefully in the simplest term the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth a measure of its value a measure of its desirability the more glorious a person and a thing is the more you are desired the more the weight of the value that is placed on you and so imagine with me for instance that all of these dimensions are like gold that you are placing on a scale so you place the glory that comes from earthly wisdom and the scale will measure it you will write it you place the glory that comes with riches and might but then that there is a glory that the scale cannot measure when it comes from knowing god you drop it is a glory that excels is an all surpassing glory please pay attention i'm building something now so the bible begins to contrast number one he says it is important that the saints glory but it tells you what to glory in because hearing is our father glorified when you bear much fruit in your being glorified god is being glorified john 17 jesus said the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son may give you glory meaning an unglorified saint cannot bring glory to the father the glory of the father is in the glory of the saints are we together now that if there is a dimension of glory the saints do not express it will short circuit the understanding of creation about God glorify now thy son that thy son will bring you glory add weight to your son add desirability put something within him that the rich outside you cannot have put something within him that the wise outside you cannot have that when you stand on the scale of destiny is a weight that cannot be measured the glory that excels hmm. in mark chapter 2 jesus taught a mystery that i want to connect to this very quickly his mysteries were captured in his parables and in one of the parables he teaches us on the mystery of wineskins please give us verse 18 mark chapter 2 there is a glory that excels and the disciples of john and the pharisees and you know and they came on to him and said to him why do the disciples of john and of the pharisees fast oh dear but thy disciples fast not 19 and jesus said he's replying a question remember that the foundation of this question was the issue of rituals structures systems keep that in mind so he was challenging jesus's violation of a system this is the basis for this statement 
there is a methodology there is a way things were done and now they found out that Jesus was routing his system he was not conforming to what they were doing and they they were questioning his authority what gave you the audacity to come up with another formula we are used to this this is the ritual but now Jesus we see you mentoring your disciples through another route and Jesus is replying can the children of the bridegroom or bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them as long as they have the bridegroom with them they cannot fast 20 but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days 21 he says no man now listen he's buttressing on this point now no man also sewed a piece of new cloth on an old garment else the new piece that filled it up take it away from the old and the rent is made worse are we together now next verse and no man put it new wine into old bottles or an old wine skin why else the new wine don't bust the bottles and the wine is spilled and the the bottles will be marred but the new wine must not may be put in a new wine skin listen very carefully jesus is teaching them something here very powerful and then he now brings these his parables on the cloth and then more importantly the wine skin he's saying that if you put wine skin i hope you know that the wine skin he now calls old was once new don't forget that what he now calls old was by a reference new and now he's saying that if you are bringing new wine that it is not possible to bring new wine and put it in an old wine skin that the effect it would be better to have left the old wine and the old wine skin that if you try to mix them there will be a reaction and that that reaction will make the condition worse listen carefully there is a reason why revivals never last there is a reason why the move of God comes for a while revival 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 people organize programs and for one or two weeks people feel spiritual they feel connected and one month later everyone has gone back to his ways the reason is because we continue to violate the condition that makes for new wine to be comfortable the focus is never on the new wine he says you attract new wine by doing something to the wine skin you don't ask new wine to come something must happen to the wine skin that automatically attracts new wine listen carefully wine skin in scripture is symbolic of structures and systems you have to understand this it's not only just symbolic of a man it's symbolic of methodologies and strategies that for every move of god there is a pattern and there is a spiritual formation that can contain it and host it are we together now i shared with you in one of the services how that when it came to killing the philistines God gave Samson a revelation and he took the dry bone, jaw bone of an ass and he killed the Philistines with it. As soon as he was done, he was asked to throw it. Sometimes you don't throw things because they have stopped working. You throw them because they will not be needed again, although they are still working. The Bible never said the old wine skin were already torn it could still contain it but that new wine in an old wine skin cannot last every move of god and every dimension of glory has a spiritual formation that you must assume otherwise the glory will not be comfortable around you and it will be wasted this is what jesus is teaching that anything anything that is new from heaven that is coming the focus is not on what is coming the focus is on the preparation 
Ejimi shared that scripture powerfully here. When it was time for them to experience the glory of God, there were conditions. He said, sanctify yourself. One day is not enough. Two days is not enough. Three days is not enough. Prepare yourself. And even at that, when they saw the glory they were preparing for, they said, Moses, you go and just talk with God. Whatever he tells you, tell us. We will listen. Most people are not prepared for what they pray for because the glory of God, listen, is one thing to ask and continue to ask. One of the reasons why the glory of God may elude certain people, the weightiness of his presence, it may be that we continue to desire that the new wine comes upon the old wineskin. And God says, my not giving you is an act of my mercy because there will be a reaction when the new wine comes upon the old wine skin that your condition will be worse than you currently are that means it is possible to dish out revelation and a believer's life starts failing from the day he had that revelation it is not only error that destroys there is a dimension of truth you can bring and from the day the believer received it his life begins to go down because the effect of that new wine on his old wine skin creates room for his own destruction. This is not a demon. This is not Satan. This is a spiritual reaction. Jesus is teaching us here. So he's giving us a word of caution that if it is true that you need a new wine skin, then you must find out the structure. When the glory of God was going to rest upon the tabernacle in the Old Testament, at that time, the tabernacle was a new wineskin. So, Bezalel and Aholiab had to receive from God the blueprint, the kind of tabernacle that can host the glory they were praying for. Are we together now? They were never to be left to decide, God, come, read your Bible. God never comes until a people are prepared by his standards. Not by their desire, not by their cry, not by their hunger. Whenever God wants to come, bringing his anointing, his grace, and all the possibilities contained in him, there will be a requirement. You cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. We're talking about the glory of God here. That there is a glory that excels but I'm showing you the technology by which men transit to rise to superior realms every old wine was once a new wine this is what I want you to know no old wine starts as old wine the tabernacle the law was once new wine the tabernacle in the wilderness was once new wine but a day came when God said I'm connecting this story now they were used to the new wine. They saw the glory that came with the tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant. They saw the victories that it brought for them. Now Jesus appears. And then they are saying, Jesus, if you are from God, you must fit into this structure. And he says, I agree it was one a new wine skin, but now I'm bringing in something. Do you have the flexibility and the unashamedness to restructure and adjust your vessel? and sometimes replace it completely so that you can host the new he was speaking to scribes he was speaking to pharisees when they saw his miracles and they saw the things that he did they looked at their structure and wondered why those structures did not host that thing i hope you know god was the one who instituted their structure but god had left their structure once upon a time john was the new wine skin that was being used the theology that john brought was the most current dealing of the spirit john was in the wilderness and god was giving him mysteries until then there was nobody who could stand as anything newer than john jesus himself testified that of all the prophets no matter what they saw nobody read john's dimension of glory but John was wise. When Jesus came, he said, Behold the Lamb. And John said, Look, I know that with respect to this, I have become an old wineskin. Let me decrease that he will increase. Are you seeing that technology? I decrease. This is the vessel 
that God is pouring his glory and when you look up to him then you are not ashamed John departed and his disciples were offended because at a point they felt John what are you doing you were shining you were the person at the center stage your entire theology was what we built our lives on and right now you are asking us are you trying to say all you have taught us was error and John was trying to say no I'm only showing you that there is another dimension of glory that has come and my structure cannot hold that glory I was a forerunner now that that glory has come follow that glory amazing that John himself didn't follow the glory and not even him was spared. John died, whereas others were being resurrected. There was a provision in a new structure that John could not experience. He died in offense. He died in pain. He died hating Jesus. He died probing the messiahship of Jesus. The man who ordained Jesus to ministry. The man who caused that his heavens were open. He said, go and ask him, are you the Messiah or should we seek for another? Notice that every time they fought Jesus, they didn't just fight the miracles. They fought the wineskin, the structure. Why are you coming with another pattern? they caught a woman who was in adultery and there was a structure already that when this woman is caught you don't discuss you stone her and immediately jesus looks at them and creates another order listen to me you cannot put new wine skin new revelation new anointing new glory old structure that does not have the provision to receive it the question is to sustain the sacrifice and the flexibility that even if it means to tear the old wine to give way, let me tell you that's not as easy as it sounds. That's why we're here tonight. If it was that easy, many people will carry the glory that excels. The hardest part of the coming of the glory is not its arrival. It is the level of stretching that happens to a man to have the new wine skin that makes for the space that this new glory will come upon. That's why we are here. We can, we can shout and jump and say, greater anointing, oh God. Greater this. Do you know that the level of living is not the same? Every level of glory has its rules and conditions. This is it. So we may be born again, but the spiritual levels and the levels of glory that come out of us will have certain rules. Because of the level God has taken you, he will give you a rule that is only applicable to you on earth. No other person. It may not make sense, but that is the price to keep the wine skin new. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you i wrote something down here listen that every level of glory has its demands there is a price to pay for every dimension of the glory of god that we seek to have many people think it's just automatic just because jesus died no sir there is a demand for every face and every level of glory The new wine skin is formed when you are willing to subscribe to the terms that make for higher glory. You form the new wine skin by making a decision that Lord, I desire this dimension of your glory. I desire this dimension of your weightiness, your presence upon my life. Now, please listen, listen. Somewhere along this conference, we are going to be doing an impartation but many of us, let me be sincere with you. The reason why so many men of God continue to pray and lay hands on you and they bless you from their heart. You can go around and say, I met Bishop Oedeko, I met Papa Adeboye. Have you met this? Yes, but nothing in your life reflects the glory because there was a repulsion. Their prayer brought the glory, but it met a structure that would not allow it. You see that? 
you believe that you receive because you fell down but i'm telling you now that your falling down was not your receiving look at the strict condition elisha went through to carry a mantle i hope you know it was elijah that was teaching other people they were the students in the school of the spirit yet it was not enough for them to carry the, the bible testifies they were in his school think how much of an angry man elisha was i won't be surprised that elijah slapped elisha once that kind of tamper that caused fire will you want to work with such a person once upon a time elijah was the new wine skin and the wine skin kept looking for a replacement all over he looked at the entire prophet and none of them had the formation none not once and there was a man who kept stretching himself went beyond gilgal went all through and while that was happening elijah was watching elijah continued to frustrate him intentionally and that guy would not be offended look at all the attributes that were preparing him for that mantle then when they crossed beyond jordan elijah looks at him and says you are really desperate i i see the formation you are looking like me now the the kind of alignment i i remember this and i know that you are about to receive something and he says what do you want then the man said sir with all due respect i know where you stopped i went more than that i can take twice you could not take twice your own anointing where you stopped i respect it but my i stretch myself beyond the capacity of that level of grace and he said one more test young man the last test was the test of sight the test of sight not just the test of physical endurance all right you have qualified but one last test if it is true that you stretch the way you claim something should have happened to your eyes and so let me see if you really pass the test because anyone who stretches enough for a double portion something should have happened to his eyes it is impossible to say you have stretched like that and your eyes is still blind therefore my dear son if you can see me as i rise and he looked and suddenly the eyes he said i see you oh my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof listen the anointing came without confusion and he went to jordan he said where is the lord god of elijah he parted it and it parted hither and thither and the moment that happened the prophet saw him and they said the spirit of elijah don't rest on Elijah. they were so ignorant they didn't even know it was two times it was a double portion graces don't just come anointings don't just come there is a glory that excels listen carefully prosperity does not just come lift things don't just come i tell you the reason why the move of god and the treasures of the kingdom never stay on people it will come for a while and then our lack of structure will fight it and it will go so you find out that churches experience certain moves of the spirit for three weeks strange signs and wonders angelic encounters and then it leaks they never experience it again could this be why sometimes when prophecy comes the results happen slowly and then it lifts because you received the prophecy it came from heaven but the spiritual formation that will allow it says now arise oh god from where you are we have prepared a structure that will make you feel comfortable whether you are in heaven or you are in solomon's temple now arise oh lord it says come to your resting place this is even how demons work they don't just enter anybody they search for a formation that looks like where they are coming from or better than it so when a demon looked at a man he knows you are not aligned enough for manipulation so it will continue to create systems around your life that tilt you to be aligned enough then it can come was it not in your bible that when a demon leaves a man when it is returning it doesn't return alone it doesn't just return double portion 
it gathers seven of its kind and comes. For many years, I wanted to know the mystery behind the very heavy investment of God's presence in others as against others. And I gauged it by many parameters and I found out it didn't match. I gauged it by many spiritual parameters until I found out that this was the secret. Now arise, O Lord, come to your resting place. That means consistently from heaven, mantles and graces and new levels are searching. They continue to move around every service looking for new wineskins and they may not find wineskins. Here is the answer to why men can be in church for many years and someone will just come and receive. The person came with hunger, he had stretched himself. Someone else is standing, amen, 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 and nothing is happening. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, I will show you what to do to the wine skin and then you will see the kind of glory and power that will come upon your life. My life changed and the grace of God upon my life took another dimension. All of these dimensions you see me walking in, they were never there. I prayed and said, Lord, what is the secret? Thank God for impartation, but I knew that mm -mm, impartation is the last step to this thing. There is a way. Why did Elijah have to go through this laborious journey with Elisha? Why? There is a huge price for the glory that excels. You want to speak and let things just happen? You want God to touch the hearts of men? No. This thing is not acting, my brothers and my sisters. It is not even just about praying 10 hours. It is not even just about fasting dry fast. There is something that must happen from within. Now arise, O oh Lord, come to your resting place. You and the ark of your might. And then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness. Celebrate. I remember some years ago one night I, I will never forget that night I was watching William Branham and tears filled my eyes that night I was so tired I was sleepy but I was watching him and you know the whole documentary on him and I said why do people insult this man you know they make it look like he backslided he left God just because he missed some things here and there there are graces that when you carry I will show you there is you have to ask God to help you stand the heaviness of that grace even you God will have to support you otherwise you will not stand I had a vision I will share with you some visions that I've never shared here during this conference let me finish the William Branham story we're going to pray I remember that night I was looking at this man and for the first time, a sense of honor and compassion. I said, this is an amazing servant of God. The humility that came from that man's life versus all the nonsense that ignorant people kept saying. I said, look at, the, look at this man of God. Look at the grace that comes out of this man. And something strange happened to me. It was like light from my laptop. Something cold just rested on my head. Gradually. I didn't used to walk in the prophetic here and there, maybe word of knowledge, this and that, here and there. And something cold, gradual, it took more than 30 minutes. It was entering me. The next meeting I went to, it was like a shock. That was when I started seeing angelic presence like lights, like ribbons. And I was saying, what is this that I'm seeing? Let me tell you, mantles, are still looking for men the problem is that there are too many old wineskins structures that refuse to bend structures that refuse to adjust 
one day i kept praying i wrote the names of certain fathers of faith that i was praying that god would put upon me the grace that he put upon them and then i had a dream in that dream i was in canaan land i think then okay they just a few years after they had built uh let's see no i'm not sure it was more than it wasn't yet up to 10 years since they built the the auditorium then and then i found myself preaching and just like the stage here i was standing you have to just keep your toe just the tip of your toe that's how you stand to preach and the stage was shaking and i couldn't stand well and i said is this how these guys stand to preach that's what i saw in that vision that means all you see is not just standing on stage many people are standing on there are weights there are gracious people carry that the moment you talk about them in the secret that grace was designed because of the weightiness there are extra privileges that come with it you will find out that your heavens will close alone in the secret no demonic assistance just because of the weightiness of it it is true my brothers and my sisters that even among the stars one different from another in glory in glory this that looks small is a deep spiritual secret it's possible to remain at the same level and god sees that you are better off at that level but if it is the glory that excels that you want to receive a dimension of his weightiness you want to add weight to your spiritual life the requirement is not just prayer the requirement is not just bible study i'm going to show you the requirement turn with me please very quickly to second corinthians chapter 4 many of you have not been trained to have regard for the glory of god that comes upon men second corinthians chapter 4 from verse 17 please for our light affliction which is but for a moment what is the affliction doing walk it for us stop stop there is a raw material that trains men the bible calls it affliction i know you don't <laughs> for this hammer that i use walk it in me this vessel that affliction is like a hammer that can chisel a man he may not know what is happening but there is a a, a formation happening our light affliction apostle paul is writing that walk it for us a what i told you there is a glory that excels if it is that weight of glory you want there is a dimension of affliction that the bible says it is a tool that is used you don't like the nice message i know <laughs> what do you think makes god to have a covenant with a man not old testament not new testament what do you think empowers that you make a statement and god just honors you reading the bible just praying in the night no sir no sir there are secrets one of them is your volunteering to affliction it was it didn't it say i bear in my he said let no man trouble me i carry a glory that excels and here are the scars that show for it let no demon resist me because i carry a glory that excels and here is the scar that shows you want to be an envoy of his presence you want to host the glory of god you want to host the power of god let me tell you there are some sacrifices if you make in the kingdom god will not allow you make other kinds again forever it is true it is true sir there are men and women because of the sacrifice they've had with god 
God will never allow them to learn about money again in this life. It will never happen. It's an exemption for them because of what there is an accreditation that happened in that place of pain. It's true. I always wondered why so many people broke certain principles that I knew that made for certain results and then it looks like life will punish everybody and jump them life will punish everybody and jump them and I said why and God said I am just find out they paid an equivalent of that sacrifice already it is true my brothers and my sisters it is true there is a glory that excels but the Bible says for our light affliction which is but for a moment walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory next verse it says while we look not at the things what are the things the afflictions the things that are seen but the things that are unseen it says for the things that are seen are temporal temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 for I reckon that the sufferings you know this is Paul writing I hope you know it was the same Paul that wrote to third of the New Testament when Paul says I glory in my affliction now you understand what he was saying how do you glory in affliction believers tell me how you glory in affliction that a man is in chains and bonds and he calls it glory I wish what I were telling you were not true was it not because of what Mary was going to carry that all the trouble came upon her life Mary was an innocent virgin for God's sake minding her business and here comes this young carpenter you just ask her out all of a sudden an angel comes and says Mary there is something we are, we are looking for who can carry it we have been searching other women and they refused probably some had the dream and they casted it mm, leave me I want peace in my life and here comes Mary let me tell you if everyone were available the angel would not come it looked like Gabriel had been searching and finally he says let me try this one we bring you salutation of great joy and she wondered what salutation he said this is what will happen to you and then the woman says be it unto me she thought she was saying let me be pregnant no the process that will allow me to carry the word for nine months be it unto me from that day mary got in trouble to the point that joseph was saying madam i don't know what is it that happened between you and this ghost i don't know which rabbi you are calling an angel but i i won't embarrass you but me i'm going what happens when things start going down and it started the day god spoke to you you were minding your business and it looked like you were better off the day a voice came you will be a mighty man of god from that day your life it looks like god what i was minding myself i was living a happy quiet wonderful life then you go to lie down and sleep and you are seeing a generation and you say god please leave my peace I want to have, my plan is to live a nice life ah. this is the price for carrying the burden of a generation King of Kings Lord of Lords faithful and true Lamb of God we worship King of Kings Lord of Lords Faithful and true Lamb of God We worship you I preached a message years ago called the furnace of affliction and several people said all kinds of things against the message and I said oh dear God has an economy 
God has a non-negotiable system. This is the reason why he loves everybody, but not everybody carries the same weight of glory. My brothers and my sisters, the glory of God upon a man is not dependent on his predetermined counsel. Is how much you are willing to be stretched until you are reformed like the potter sometimes you will need to smash that clay again and start building you built it before into a vessel and then you will smash it back and that clay is you hallelujah it's a very very huge sacrifice to carry the glory of God the weightiness of his presence most times we admire the results that we see but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters behind the veil what you see there is the blood and the tears that came with lifting this weight it's a heavy weight a far more exceeding weight of glory a far more exceeding weight of glory hallelujah that you speak to a man and his life does not change you go back to god and say lord why now i spoke and god says no there is a glory level there is there not every part of the mountain delivers the same result it says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord it's a journey if an aircraft will not keep you at the top of the hill you will walk there were five thousand men aside women and children who climbed up the mountain and they were privy to hear certain things that others did not hear the way to the throne is the cross the way to the throne is the cross you will never get to the throne ignoring the cross the only ladder that you will use to climb the throne of destiny is the cross where God will give you a governmental grace to speak over nations you become Beulah and Hephzibah the desire of nations notice in the parable of the talents do you know the real blessing that happened to them it was not well done good and fit. i used to think he was well done good and faithful servant until one day the spirit of the lord says study it and i found out well done good and faithful servant was a patting of their back certain portions were up, were given to them territorial influences that was the blessing the labor of doing something with what they were given qualified them for these dimensions at every level at every level please listen to me carefully at every level there is a demand there is a level of sacrifice there is a level of real sacrifice that makes for certain glories but paul said compared to the glory that that level delivers the sacrifice can be called a light affliction second corinthians chapter 3 we are going to pray from verse 9 and 10. it says for if the ministration of condemnation talking about the law now carried some glory in it he said much more that the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory next verse it says for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels that there is a level you can walk with god my brothers and my sisters and through this sacrifice of remolding yourself to become a new wine skin that god will put a dimension of his glory that when you look back what you used to call glory that it is not glory in this respect a level of signs and wonders 
a level of the performance of God's word, a level of increase and grace, a level of prosperity, the wealth of the kingdom, a level of spiritual illumination. It comes by that track record of pain and sacrifice. Sacrifice. The weightiness of God's glory. Finding vessels that can fit it. The weightiness of God's power. Finding vessels that can receive it. The weightiness of the spirit of revelation. Finding men. There are times that it comes close and you fall it. You can't even host it first. And then it goes back waiting for you to truly become that vessel it says but we all like living stones we are being chiseled and built into a spiritual house a house that can host god there are many things in my life today i would have prayed for for so long to come but sometimes just a desire in my heart is enough to bring it the secret is that when you contend for the glory that excels please hear me if you're a man of god here hear me twice what we call ministry now in the next five years many people will be frustrated because there are people pressing into these dimensions genuinely there are people that desires tangibility substance of the spirit they are the ones who will become the desire of nations and many others will pale and fade in glory this is not backsliding this is that god has begun something it's a new order and like john the baptist and like the scribes you may scrounge around for relevance but the light now is on jesus the question therefore is are you willing to subscribe to the demands demands of lifestyle demands of covenant listen it will cost you everything the price for all of God is all of you let me say it again the price for all of God is all of you write it media let the word lend this the price for God's head is not all of you the price for God's hand is not all of you the price for God's heart and all of him is all of you that's why we can see certain dimensions you just want the wisdom of God or some dimensions of his creativity but not all of him if you want to host God then all of you must be beaten like the potter with the clay it's not a gospel that many people like nobody likes suffering nobody likes affliction we were not designed that way that's why it's a sacrifice there is a glory that excels but it will come upon vessels that have been worked on changed it says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face beholding him as in a glass we are changed you know it looks like once you are just looking you are being changed ask elisha it was not just looking like it was saying there is a dynamics of death that works in you so that life will work in other people let me tell you this 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 thing i'm teaching you is a is a master mystery even in the occult and those who practice all of these things they are the level of glory in quote if i will use that word is corresponding to their, the level of tremendous sacrifice i remember reading a book about a, a somebody who would receive some kind of strange power and the condition was to fast non-stop for 150 days if you miss one day you start afresh you don't continue you fast to a point that you don't know whether you have eaten or not there is your body has lost the ability to tell you whether you are full or you are hungry so god will want to take you to certain realms and god will now say oh pastor alpha because of what i'm about to do for the next five months i will need every 12 to 3 a.m of your time not three to five regardless of what the event is the demand is 12 o'clock to three the next six months 
think about it if you are interested let me know you will be free from 9 to 11 that's not the timing god gave you you will even be free from 14 forever you will find out that you will be so tired by 11 45 you don't know if you are standing or sitting but you remember that our light affliction you may look stupid see it's difficult to do these things when you have people that love you they will pity you too much to allow you continue the pain of what you go through it will attract their sympathy that's why abraham told the servants wait here i have to go alone with my sacrifice if those servants were on the mountain they will fight abraham and bring isaac down there are certain things when god wants to do in your life you will, you will have to agree with him that you will be alone in this so that he can do with you what he wants because the innocence and the humanity of men sometimes will interrupt the process if you're married and you see your husband eating once a week and acting like a strange man one day you will be tired you will close the door and sit down there and start crying and whether he's, he's serious with God or not the compassion that comes from that union will make him say God whatever it is please let me just let me just let me just subscribe to the demands of my wife what do you think made John the greatest prophet have you studied John's life how much of his life was in public view look at how John was born from that time at least for Jesus we saw what happened the first 12 years what happened to the next 18 years of Jesus is something you should find out because the Bible does not tell us any other thing again about Jesus from age 12 until 30 we see a man coming what happened for those 18 years what happened to the 19 years of Paul in the wilderness of Arabia what happened to the 40 years of Moses at the backside of the mountain let me show you that this is consistent with men who carry glory it is not new it didn't start now are we together John the Baptist the Bible just shows us that there is an adult in the wilderness who was given a, a what I would call a wicked prescription there was meat those days there was fish those days there was wine those days but he dressed in camel skin and then he was in the wilderness and the only food that he was allowed to eat was locusts and wild honey was he not the prophet that was told to sleep on one side for one year I don't know if you don't read your Bibles did you read about the prophet who ate animal dung for one year <laughs> I tell you why our generation is powerless we are noisy people but there's no power this is it we hate the sacrificial dimension that brings the glory let him that glory and glory in this that he knoweth me he understands my way and because of his subscribing to my patterns he can carry a glory that is greater than the glory of the wise greater than the glory of the strong greater than the glory of the rich there are men let me tell you i believe that there are people who will open up their hearts and say lord i am willing let's go this journey i am willing i am willing you know most times we sing songs of surrender we just sing them as special numbers i want you now to think because god answers those prayers use me oh god i'm available and god says i'm listening keep talking do with me anything you want to do uh, have you had that kind of prayer god says thank you this is all i've been asking you he said dangerous prayer to say do with me what you want it's even dangerous to sing it do with me what you want do with me what you want you study the scapegoat that was taken malhandled and taken everywhere he was led like a sheep to the slaughter do with me what you want lord my life is yours 
do with me what you want and God says okay I look at you and I need to chisel here and here can I go on and you say Lord I've said do with me what you want the first hammer touching you you say God is this it no I changed my mind is it by force I'm already born again God says it's not by force but then the glory you seek do not be angry when you see it on another person so many men of God can be here but there is glory that excels corresponding to the spiritual sacrifices let me tell you this is a non-negotiable condition there are cups you don't pray to pass you you obtain the grace to drink them he said grant that you know when you have conquered caesar etc etc let me sit at your left and right the mother of james and john was asking jesus didn't say there is no vacancy he said you want to sit close to me here is the condition one can you drink of my cup internal and can you be baptized with my baptism the woman didn't answer it for the children john would later answer it and he paid for it he really did he was at the isle of patmos but that guy had so pressed into these things that hot oil had no effect on him and peronero said what do we do with this guy now we have tried to roast him in oil it didn't work and they banished him to an isle called patmos these are the men the bible says the earth is not worthy of there is a reason why the earth is not worthy they work sometimes like fugitives and vagabonds looking for a city whose builder and maker is the Lord they so pressed into these things for some of them life made no sense again take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything use all of me all of me Lord you have anoints my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything say take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord I thought Jesus being the son of God Jakes should should exempt him from this pattern why will the son of God be in the wilderness talk to me believers the son of God left heaven born of the spirit it didn't change the pattern as soon as Jesus came out of the water it was not a demon that drove him there are many times what drives you to that wilderness is not always satan the spirit didn't speak he drove him to the wilderness notice that every time these men were in these places they were alone it's not a corporate thing it's not a husband and wife thing it's not a classmate it's not a roommate thing it is you and god and your destiny This is the price it takes to be trusted with the keys of a generation this is the price it takes to become the face of god to a generation it's not by voting it's not by popularity census it's not by likes and shares it's a testament of a sacrifice in the spirit known by both god and demons believers either we are just playing games and we truly do not desire to be the carriers of this glory or someone here will be willing to pray listen let me tell you you would think the sacrifice to host god's glory is hard until you see the alternative the alternative is a miserable life of guessing left right and center with your destiny shattered and you are you are a victim of just anything jesus paid the price once and he was ready by this time many years ago Jesus was in hell hellfire 
Jesus, hellfire. Jesus, Hades, the place of the dead. And the father was watching. And all these demons were upon their own creator, the word of God that proceeded. Ah, but though weeping endures for a night. Shabalakabarakosia. One thing I know is that affliction does not remain forever. It has an expiry date. When the legal claims of justice were made, Paul reveals to us by the Spirit that Jesus made a public show of them, triumphing over them. And one of the things he got in hell, so there can be keys in hell, and you will need to go down to hell to get some keys. sometimes you will need to go down to come up with keys jesus descended before he ascended so you will rise up by going down are we together now and he collected the keys and in revelations he said i am he that was dead but now i am alive and i hold the keys the coronation service only happened when he went through this We are going to pray tonight there is a glory that excels i bring you a very powerful mystery the glory that excels romans chapter 12 and verse 1 i beseech thee brethren who is he talking to brethren not unbelievers I beseech thee brethren by the mercies of God that you do what offer offer your bodies as a not a sacrifice a living sacrifice let me tell you what that means a sacrifice that remains a sacrifice when a sacrifice dies it stops being a sacrifice it's over the real sacrifice was the life of that object so when the life goes there's no more sacrifice it is the process of extracting life from that thing that is the sacrifice now he says you are a sacrifice you are alive but it's a posture you will continue to take holy and acceptable unto god and he says it's your reasonable act of worship I have found this key from the day I found this key I stopped being afraid of pain I stopped being afraid of sacrifice I became friends with it and I found out that in that darkness that's where light comes from God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness not into darkness out of darkness darkness is the mother that gives birth to light and the evening came and the morning and the evening came and the morning let me encourage you listen to me listen to me very carefully be careful so that you don't judge things from the standpoint of men there are certain things that you may be passing through that you may think these things are happening just because of unbelief i told you that faith doesn't always receive it also takes faith to release you lose things too by faith by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice there were women who their children died and instead of them to raise them back they said no problem let them go and the bible calls it faith read it it's not everybody who brought their child back to life that were called men of faith others died Do you know why plants grow because they subscribe to this same principle death and glory when you carry a seed and throw it on the earth what happens you studied agri what happens the life is in the death jakes you come back after two days if you open it you will see that there is no more beauty there is no beauty in the grave there is no comeliness there is only the death that brings resurrection and notice what happens the first thing that happens is 
some process of decay and even degradation and then out of the rottiness it begins to open it's deshaping as bad as it is it's making room for something new and sometimes it can be so bad that part of the old one will come out too with a new one and you can look at it and know this is the dead seed and this is the one that grows I wish I can tell you the glory of God comes just by speaking and saying receive grace there are you want to be given the keys of a nation my brother and my sister there is a track record there is a scar there is a testament of death that must happen I presume we are going to pray tonight because it looks like we are in a funeral service You know what you do in a funeral service you dig the ground and you carry the dead body and throw it in but when you throw the body in the funeral service you don't expect it to come out but what we're engaging tonight is a mystery that when you are thrown in the grave then you are ready to come out after a few days of silence suddenly suddenly you begin to shoot against gravity with another life and that small tiny seed will now become a tree that birds will come and nest they will be grateful that you paid the price every food you eat today is because a seed volunteered to die listen to me carefully if seeds stop dying you stop rising too the reason why we continue to live is because there are seeds that are dying they died last year the moment rain starts falling isn't it amazing that when rain starts falling that's the right time for the seed to die seeds die during rain rain that should give life but that's when seeds die and then life comes from it hmm. we're going to pray in the next 10 minutes it's going to be a general prayer before I lead you find whatever corner outside this is you and God just play worship for us and you are going to say Lord the death that must turn me into a new wineskin let it happen to me tonight the death that must happen oh God for the glory that this generation is waiting for don't be afraid hey, na, 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 na. The sacrifice. Lord, you are calling me to be a prophet to the nations. But there is a level of death. Please pray. This is between you and God. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Hey, hey, hey. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Pray. 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 Era bashena na masena na 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 Era na 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 de Lera sabaru jalis kamanda brati gala sobras kadi alhasa Whosoever saves his life shall lose it Whosoever saves his life shall lose it Whosoever saves his life shall lose it 
but whoever loses it for my sake will gain it we gain things in this kingdom by losing them Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Are there people praying tonight? Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Walk through me. Yeah. Live through me. Oh, come with the refiner's fire. 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 As the deer pants after the water brook, find a generation, my king. Find a generation that desires you more than life, more than wisdom, more than money, more than power. Find for yourself a bride adorned in her beauty. everything turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host your power in this generation turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host the end time anointing for miracles for wealth for signs for wonders Call me Nana Kane. 
Two or three more minutes. But in a great house, there are vessels of gold and of silver, of wood and of clay. Some are unto honor and others are unto dishonor. belongs to you. You see, my brothers and my sisters, one of the assignments of fire, the primary purpose of fire was not just for demons, it was for the saints. It is the fire of the Holy Spirit. It's not just Holy Ghost fire, demons, the fire not only refines, not only purifies, it can melt completely and then remold again. It is not every time the fire comes to just purify. Sometimes that whole vessel 
needs to melt down for something new to come it is not every time god comes to adjust the old sometimes he comes to immerse you into his fire then remold you as something that has never been before Yeshua, Hamashiach, I like you tonight to pray Lord whatever took your place in my life please return to your resting place is someone praying tonight I don't know how it got there but in this season arise majesty return to your resting place hey. Arise, my God, return to your place of rest. Yeshua, Hamashia, Omina, Nakane, Yeshua, Hamashia. For some of us, is friends, some of us, is the obsession to succeed. Some of us is the obsession to be in ministry. Whatever has taken its place, please dethrone it this night. Dethrone it this night. For some of us is money that took its place. Reputation, ego, revelation the quest for the anointing call me na na kane call me na na kane call me na na kane ya yesu yeshua amashiach in this season let me tell you the new wine of the spirit is moving from nation to nation from continent to continent finding the vessels that have the space there are all kinds of mantles, graces that have not been seen before. But they are searching for a new wine skin. You cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. You cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin. A new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin. A new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute and then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of God to man of God it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit hallelujah praise the Lord listen to me we have a few more minutes just a few minutes and then we'll stop Acts chapter 26 and verse 22 there are times in your life listen where
because of the kind of glory that is coming no matter how you release yourself you will still not have the capacity you will need to cry for an assistance from heaven he says having therefore obtain help of god i continue unto this day the reason i'm still standing from glory to glory i saturated my effort at a point but having obtained help from god i continue to this day having obtained help from god in the apostolic ministry in the prophetic ministry in the pursuits to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints in the pursuit to doing this and that whatever it is there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard if someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help having obtained help from god i continue god is the helper of men god can help you he can help you rise he can help you stand he can help you reign he can help you conquer he has not stopped being the helper the Holy Spirit is called the helper. Please sit down. The miraculous is still important even for believers. There are times while you are learning the principle, for instance, of wealth and abundance, because it takes a while to be established to understand that principle. What happens to your rent today? Tomorrow you will have enough to feed nations, but today there is a concern. So he said, give us this day. Lord, you can give us. While we learn to access that supply, we can cry that you give us today very important the human nature of men believers and unbelievers matured believers and those who are just starting alike will at one point or the other because of the reality of their humanity need the intervention of God's power the psalmist said I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living I had fainted that means that I would have been a forgotten story save for this intervention. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The second reason why all including believers will need the miraculous hand of God at one point or the other is because of the presence of wicked spirits. First John chapter 5 and verse 19. The Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is a contention that consistently plagues the believer. Paul writing and teaching the church in Ephesus, he taught them how to, as we call it, to sit in their position. That, that understanding that they have been seated with Christ. Then he taught them how to walk worthy of their calling. But then he also taught them how to stand against the wiles of the enemy. The Bible says, and we know that we are of God. And in spite of the fact that we are of God, 
the whole world how many of the world it didn't say africa so whether you go to europe or whether you go to america the caribbeans wherever you are provided you are in this world the bible says it lies in wickedness there are two ways to have your car jammed you hit somebody or somebody hits you in any way the car will pay for it so we need the miraculous hand of god let me tell you my brothers and my sisters a number of us are too young to understand the reality of wickedness in this life because we have been shielded by the sacrifices of others whether you sow or not there is a harvest but as as you begin to transit through life you will understand that there is a real warfare that happens in this life warfare for your soul warfare for your children warfare for your finances warfare for your relevance and it takes an understanding that if God be for us hallelujah he says who can be against us reverse the statement if God is not for us who will not be against us that means my security is having the hand of God with me as a man of God the devil will not sit down and allow you to keep winning souls every time you are converting people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son then he will cross his leg and laugh no every arsenal that can be launched against your church your ministry will come and if you do not understand when to call for help and say Lord I invoke it ah look the Bible says the body of Moses Michael was carrying the dead body of Moses to heaven and suddenly Satan traps him in the heavenlies and was fighting for the body and he said the Lord rebuke you the Lord I use a power that is greater than you rebuke you even a dead man's body was still useful for Satan not to talk about you who is alive a dead man who does not have a will who does not have emotions but Satan said the body can still be relevant a spirit is searching for that body and that spirit will resurrect as Moses and deceive people so there was potentials even in a dead body the same way the devil used the face of your mother to press you and now you think it's your mother that is a witch demons are crying and wanting bodies are you learning something tonight let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i really hate to be the bearer of bad news but i will be lying to you if i tell you that all you see is all there is there is real warfare in this life there is victory assured there can be victory established but it does not negate the fact that there is warfare when your children leave your house and go to school for that five six hours there is more warfare than you know are we together you release them from your house they come back asking you questions you are even afraid to answer there's warfare you think the devil will sit down and allow you to be the first person in your family to build a house who do you think you are your father tried to rise and that altar crushed him to pieces and here you come boasting that i am in christ if you don't understand how to tap into the help of god that same hand will crush you to pieces this is where many believers continue to deceive themselves and mock themselves Jesus himself needed the father he said father don't forsake me this is not the right time to forsake me Eloi Eloi Lamak Sabachthani the world needed help from heaven the world was unfruitful until he was assisted by the Holy Spirit apostle my church is not growing i'm a faithful man of god i love the lord i see visions i can pray for the sick members are not coming because growth is warfare 
people are not stupid to just leave their homes and come and stand to hear you do you know the amount of devils and demons that stop you from coming here today do you know the amount of excuses the devil orchestrated satan is desperate for your downfall if you ever found yourself here it's a sign that your miracle has started i'm telling you this We are not alone in this world get used to it there are real spirits not only angels not only the holy spirit there is an old story here there are spirits older than everyone and they have not been prohibited from moving to and fro they can still move and let me tell you sooner or later they will land around the vicinity of your family and the, the bible says the whole world lies in not badness wickedness many of us today are seated here right now in the next few minutes when we begin to pray that is when you will wonder so this thing in my life i thought was a coincidence is a pre-programming of wickedness let me tell you this i have seen the wickedness of men and spirits too many times in my little life i have looked at destinies that i know this person should not be here But tonight in the name of Jesus, the hand of God will come upon us and that everything that does not name the name of Christ must give way. What about your finances? You thought it's just about business. It is warfare. I've taught you this. The devil, when you have vowed before God that Lord, if you bless me, your kingdom will be advanced. And the devil had that prayer. I hope you know when you praise, not only God that hears. When you pray, the realm of the spirit hears your prayer. That's why he says, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare. As I was prophesying to you, the devil had it. He will not keep quiet. Get up and wore a good warfare. I thought the prophecy should work itself. He said, wore a good warfare. Otherwise, you will see it in the realm of the spirit, but it will never manifest. many believers are ignorant of this one thing there are many families sitting down right now looking at me and you do not know that if you do not rise i got several text messages from people apostle this is wrong with me i, I just replied them and said come for miracle service i i don't know how i'm going to start giving you this explanation you will learn after you are touched if i allow you to learn you may die and never have the opportunity to hear the message it is something that needs the power of god first you will grow spiritually but in the interim let's deal with the devil for you so that by the time he's dealt with you can have the time to grow i was ministering yesterday and a precious lady that god touched i mean lumps all over her can you imagine that kind of wickedness I think one of them said also that she was operated and then it returned again that means it's a living thing it's only living things that can move they can go and come dead things lie down there they removed it and it left where they threw it and came back is that a dead thing now I hear the chains falling. listen when God gives you ten naira and it runs away from you don't you think something is driving it away please listen to what i'm telling you when somebody promises that sam i will bless you and all of a sudden because he promised to bless you he starts going down he intended to bless you have you seen people like that they say i'm waiting for salary to bless you the moment they say i want to bless you that money will never come there's something wrong god gave us intelligence we are not stupid people but let me tell you my brothers and sisters for as long as you justify darkness you are not ready for victory you must get angry and say no way lord i have come like jacob i will not let you go some of you travel from far some of you are connecting from different parts of the world please refuse don't come and play games 
Lord, there must be an evidence. There must be an evidence. You get pregnant as a Christian, as a tongue-talking Christian. You go to bed and hear these wicked spirits. They come to molest you and in two, three months, you've lost the child. The doctors will do their best to support you. But doctors cannot treat spirits. It takes the power of God. It says, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies submit themselves. There are cases that can never be diagnosed medically. Machines don't diagnose spirits. I heard the testimony of a woman. Genuine testimony. Her husband had died. Died and gone to be with the Lord. And a spirit came to her in the dream. And tried to molest her. And within two, three months she, she was pregnant. She noticed she was pregnant from the realm of the spirit. With a physical child. I don't know who made us so carnal that we think we will casually please be careful you watch TV and people trivialize the reality of the realm of the spirit if you are a pastor here listen to me end time ministry is real warfare you are not going to stand and cross your leg and my church should keep growing just because you are reading a novel about church growth no it takes you subduing the powers that be is God speaking to someone tonight? Fathers here, you need to stand up and take charge. Every father is a priest. You are already ordained as a father, as a priest over your home. And you are not going to watch darkness come and sit down and say it does not matter. That's why men who are not born again and serious with God, it's a serious problem. You open your shop to sell. And there is a pungency there is a sense of repulsion you have everything that should be bought and people leave your shop and go somewhere to queue no we wrestle not against flesh and blood please listen to me but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness they don't reside in hell they are in the heavenlies I counseled a man of God I think it was two or three years ago the devil I don't know the devil uses his face to oppress his members like you have a church now and then you will see my face I will come with an axe in a dream or something and oppress you will you attend that church and everybody started saying the man is a fake man truly I don't know anything about him but when I got to meet him, he said, Apostle, what is this? He said, I got born again in the present. I have a history. What is this thing? Everybody is saying I'm a fake man of God. I went to collect power that they see me in dreams. I said, that's it. The enemy has done this. The devil would divide best friends by using the face of a best friend to oppress someone. Then lead that best friend to a, a prophet who may not be fake, but is not spiritually accurate. And he will say, your friend is jealous and wants to kill you. Nonsense! Listen to me. These spirits are actors. They can join you together. They look for where trouble is and guide you. Like the Holy Spirit guides you in all truth. The devil can guide you in all trouble police is about to arrest a thief you, you find out that you are you are passionate about leaving home to go there you were minding your business but now you just get somewhere and they arrest all of you it's not normal it's not normal it's not normal we need miracles so we need real divine interventions we need the hand of god to come upon our lives we need the grace of god you are in your office with all kinds of people listen one of the things we have to learn is that not everybody is born again i think we're used to the fact that we are all born again around a circle so because of that you believe that the same way in your office everyone is born again let me tell you there are people who are fraternized with darkness to a realm and a level that except you are powerful indeed they will not only destroy you they will destroy you slowly
hallelujah i think he was here i don't know which month i hope maybe the family may even be here they brought for me a medical student the final year last session the lady just became mad is it because of reading is she the first to go to school it's a spirit a woman labors on her daughter my brothers and my sisters and just when this woman is about to reap the reward of her labor have you not heard of people who graduated on their way going back home to celebrate a bike comes out from nowhere there is no bike that comes out from nowhere thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence well you can choose to believe what i'm telling you or you can choose to allow time prove to you that this life does not joke if jesus himself got up early in the morning to pray and put everything in order he says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth thereof i've shared with you how many times i'm i want to take a trip and somebody genuine prophet genuine some of them are my friends and send me a text and say apostle be careful i saw an accident i saw this that is the plan of the devil but the ability to know his plan and conquer it is where victory comes from listen to me it is selfish to forget about your family and forget the let me tell you this you know esther was going to make a mistake the same mistake of Vashti, Esther was about to make it. She was about to forget her people and the purpose for which she went to the palace. And Mordecai said, don't think that when they are done with us, you will be spared. Sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you, he will leave the most powerful person to continue while he destroys every other person. Do you know that their going down will affect you spiritually? Tonight we came for serious business. I vowed a vow that I'm not going to waste the time of any of God's people. No. This, this, this ministry is not a museum. This is the place where we dislodge darkness. You, you have to return with a testimony. A woman called me one time she had this son whether he joined friends or so and went somewhere I don't know what he went to go and do this young boy and maybe about 10 or 11 started hearing voices physical voices like word of knowledge sometimes they can tell him kill yourself or pour hot water you know you, you know that is of the devil when the instruction does not carry the life of God God will never ask you to pour hot water on your body how does it glorify Jesus the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And this boy continued to do all these kinds of things. And I told her, I said, Mama, thank God you brought this boy. This boy would die for nothing one day. Hell is rearming itself to make sure there is an onslaught, an assault against the body of Christ. And many times we are just crossing our legs. Listen, I need you to know, I've taught you about warfare. We teach warfare correctly. We are not people who fight from a standpoint of foolishness. We are standing from a standpoint of victory. But that establishment, you must do it. Otherwise, victory will not be automatic. Hebrews chapter 2, it says, But we do not yet see all things under his feet. Please, let me say this respectfully. Be careful who you listen to. And be careful the content of the spiritual information you are giving. Just because people are sincere may not mean their communications are balanced and accurate. Listen to what I'm telling you. Many people have become casualties of imbalanced spiritual communications. Jesus told us everywhere in his crusade, demons came. They were not afraid of Jesus' own crusade. Demons, they followed people. They didn't wait outside and enter later on. They came. Imagine Jesus in a crusade. Praise the Lord. The people shouted hallelujah and the demons were still in them. And they did not go. When the word is not engaged, it does not have any power to do anything. 
a spirit can sit down the same way some of you are sitting quietly now as sincere and innocent as you are in the next few minutes you'll be surprised what will be happening in your own life and then you will see doors that have been closed opening like this then you will know that these doors were not closed by mistake and will not be opened by mistake everything good comes to everybody except you the moment is your turn something terrible happens a gentleman just sees you and say beautiful lady can i go and see your parents and that's the end of it his business goes down his life goes down everything crashes until he leaves you then he goes back up do you believe what i'm teaching you So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately creates conviction, the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church. You know, when I came down, you need to see the multitudes of people outside. There are people sitting on the soccer way here. My brothers and my sisters, listen, you went to school. Do you think human beings are stupid? Do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state? Some of you have not eaten since you came. You came straight to sit down. Is God so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back? Oh, not Koinonia. I welcome you to a place where God has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of God. I saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside and compassion just gripped my heart i said imagine if i were one of these people and they were happily standing they were not complaining they just knew that if i may but touch the hem of his garment my brothers and my sisters let me tell you forgive me if it sounds proud but god has given us something let me tell you sincerely we we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something i told you last week you only knock a door that you don't have the key when you have a key you don't you stop knocking you open that's the same way your destiny will be open the lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness so in a meeting like this if i were you my heart is stayed on that word listen let me tell you please listen you see me teaching passionately we are going to pray when i teach like this huh, i don't teach as a preacher i come with my heart full of a burden are you getting what i'm saying i come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because i love god but i love his people too my greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress is seeing the hand of god made manifest in your life when instructions are given when these spiritual things are given you must open your heart to believe them you see the the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith sometimes many of us carry this trado african pride and that's what stops us from receiving god wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering will god really touch me you know my peculiar problem you know the name abba are you the first to be in trouble god knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble let me tell you this i don't care what the situation is but i want us to agree that this god of heaven ah uh, the king of the universe that he will arise for you tonight you see let me tell you this my prayer this year when i was fasting and praying this year i prayed a prayer i said lord some people don't know what a testimony is give them one they only know how other people's testimonies the lord did this for this but they have never had a testimony themselves the day you have a real testimony yourself it will humble you you wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down that's what i'm praying for you for today a testimony When the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man, you see, let me tell you this. 
the supernatural is not just falling down and roll you can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify the proof that god came is the testimony that follows the testimony the testimony of jesus the testimony of jesus apostle i came here buried much miracle service by april miracle service i'm one month pregnant that's a testimony listen come david down when the devil oppresses your life destroys everything about you he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to god that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with oppression is a letter sent through men to god the highest of god's creation the devil writes upon your life i will destroy the family and i will make sure everyone begs like you send a um, a chat send and then a miracle is god's reply that god writes through you and says in spite of this i am still on the throne It's true. I believe in miracles. I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles. I believe in principles. I believe in mysteries. But I believe in divine intervention. My brothers and my sisters, God can shorten a man's journey. What then is the excellency of his mercy? Listen. God is a God of process. I agree. Listen carefully. God is a God of principles. I agree. He will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity. But let me tell you, when blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. The mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man. If you get born again at age 40, do you know how long it takes to know God? genuinely know god you don't read your bible in two months and know god but there's something the spirit of god can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years how about restoration your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at linter level right there you went to school and said i'm going to pay it and finish everything the day you said you pay it you almost died i made a vow with my life that i would believe this word and i will engage it life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws engage it don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before you know many believers learn too late let me say this and thank god for his mercy you will receive but do you know there are some of you the lord spoke to you about coming here since last year you've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses your situation would not have been that bad but thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life. Not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please Lord, give people a testimony. Real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God, but there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs. John chapter 4 and verse 48. I'll begin to pray shortly. Bless you. 4 verse 48. He says, And Jesus said unto him, Who was speaking here? Jesus. Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. How true. How true. That there are so many people in your family, until they see what the power of God does in your life they will never believe your God they think God is one of those things this is a charm this is this this is that and then God is one of them 
but the day like Dagon all those gods fall before the Almighty God and you return back with a solid evidence let me tell you that day like Pharaoh your loved ones will confess that this your God is God are we together so I want you to be serious don't sit down and just look around and say ah, who is going to receive let me clap for him no it's an insistence it's a desperation except you see miraculous signs you shall not believe Luke chapter 5 we we'll read the first 11 verses that miracles can help to create solid convictions Charles and Francis Hunter powerful evangelists they've gone to be with the Lord now they wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words I believe them I believe them the world is tired of our noise and our stories they want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God it says and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God he stood by the lake of Gennesaret next verse please and saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets uh-huh we're reading to 11 and he entered into one of the ships which was simon's and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship next verse now when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought five what happened Simon answering said master we have toiled all night in other words he said Lord look you are not the first to pray for me a man of God prayed for me in Zaria another man prayed in wherever you know so God is one of those things you bless me oh yeah do it master we have toiled all night not for a few hours all night night vigil looking for a fish and did not catch even one it says nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net six and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their neck seven and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships miracles can create relationships that you get a miracle and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knees saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called though, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters 
run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of God in your life the nations will bow to your God they will never bow to you just because you are talking man of God hear me no results you have MP pews there's, there's no way around it there must be an evidence a serious evidence when John questioned the messiahship of Jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell John what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the Christ is questioned John himself the one who ordained Jesus said go and ask him is he the messiah miracles confirm that Jesus is the messiah God is not a herbalist he's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists no wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name there are people who have names politicians have names businessmen have names, captains of industry gatekeepers of mountains have names but my brothers and my sisters there is a name it says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved and it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness The miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people to not only believe God but to trust God John chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of Jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee he turned water to wine the Bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him believed on him we believe in the god that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we we knew you would come because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of god to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him for god was with him for god was with him We are going to pray you have to convince yourself it's going to be a quick walk and we're going to cry to God and say Lord whatever I carried from my house whatever I carried from my place of work that I brought before you it should not return back with me it should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ it should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting i like you to talk to the lord please be serious and be desperate lord i have come to you i've come to you i've come to you i've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life
Lord, I hear you are a restorer. Restore me. Online, please make sure you are praying. Those outside, make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayer. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it says we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. Turn again our captivity. There is a God that can turn around the captivity of men. Pray. Doesn't matter where you are seated, doesn't matter where you are connecting from. The power of God is able to save to the uttermost. Shalabarada Katos. Father, I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? A miracle worker, God is a glorious God, God is a miracle worker, God is a glorious shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign, you reign, hello, King. You reign, you reign, Please bring them out. Hello, you reign, 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 you reign. This is a lady from outside. I crush the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I crush the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus. I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus, we silence the voice of wickedness. We silence the voice of wickedness. Hold on please. The Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes, inside and outside. Bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I judge those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here, represented in anyone here, I speak by the hand of God. You reign, you reign, hello, bring them out. I'm still on that case. The power of God is still locating people. I'm seeing snakes. Jesus, I'm still praying. We're not doing too many things tonight. We're going to the root of many people's challenges. I'm saying it again. There are still spirits, and I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Wherever they are, overflow one, two, three, across the road. I'm declaring judgment, judgment upon those spirits. The fire of God is coming upon you right now. Whether you are standing for yourself or for your family, bring them out. There is no escape for when his voice comes, they come out from their hiding place. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. There are people. I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people. And I'm seeing people beginning to run. Just run. When you see people doing that, hold them and bring them. The Lord is bringing deliverance. That one is not speed. This one is not the prayer for speed. I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me. Right now I decree and declare. I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism. But I stretch my hands by the Spirit. I command judgment on every force. Judgment on every power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God is coming upon them. You will begin to see them run around. Just running. It's, it's, it's not a, a making of their own. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Oh, 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 my help has come. Oh, 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 my help. Oh, 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 my help has come. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying He's delivering families from the power of the grave in the name of jesus christ and at the count of three any family whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave i'm declaring at the count of three as you shout jesus the power of god is setting you free one two three the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave came the spirit of the grave I cost you by the God of heaven the spirit of the grave I cost you by the God of heaven just follow me this night now I'm praying for all those in front they came out because the Lord showed something I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three I speak to these spirits release everything you have taken from these families one two go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies out of their lives out of their destinies I command a release I command a release I command a release. Release breakthroughs. Release open doors. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you or it may happen once in a while this is a strange oppression of darkness and i declare i'm praying right now i'm seeing fire all over this place because there are many people that is the root cause of many oppressions in your life at the count of three you will shout that name again that is above every other name and some of you will feel something leaving you immediately i declare that all these spirits 
that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions at the count of three let there be emancipation one two get ready three i command those spirits go now strangers of the night strangers of the night help that gentleman strangers of the night bring them out strangers of the night I curse you by the God of heaven molesting the saints planting sicknesses in their bodies Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim Madonna. a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Spirit that any fraternity with the elements of Christ let it be broken now in the name of Jesus help them please let it be broken now in the name of Jesus fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus the mysteries behind the strange hardship of people the mysteries behind the oppression of people oppression of families doors doors are opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit doors doors some of you will feel fire on your hands fire on your hands doors are opening two leaf gates in the spirit fire on your hand you will know by the fire that comes to your hand i'm seeing fire coming on people's hands that's what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit doors opening you must testify doors opening doors opening doors opening age long doors age long doors that have been closed for many years I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet, chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there, chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, chains being taken from off your feet. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is not just some disorganized jamboree. God is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy, Emmanuel.
We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life, but there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you. But they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel. I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals. Individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no. Once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now. Among the Emmanuels and the people, delay, delay, delay. There is an anointing coming now. It's crushing that spirit. Just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you. In the name of Jesus, delay, delay. God is visiting delay. Broken by the Spirit of God. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. He came to set the captives free. To set the captives free. Hold on. This young lady, lift your hands. This, this, yes, you. Lift your hands. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I don't know what it is that I saw, but I saw something like smoke. The other one, the smaller one with white. Yes. I just saw something like smoke coming out of you. And the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years. That has something to do with your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, let that oppression go, let it leave you. Let it go, let it leave you right now. In the name of Jesus. There is a woman, now I'm going to pray for people generally, but I don't know how we we'll do this. There is a barren woman in overflow three. Barren woman, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Please, if, if you can allow the woman to run and come, God is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child. Overflow three. Please let her run and come. Who is Maureen? Maureen. I'm hearing a name, Maureen. 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 What is your name? Lift your hands. Where are you from? Shout Jesus loud as you can. Jesus! Let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken. My dear, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus! I crush that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And the man you see in your dream, in the name of Jesus, may you never see that man again. Please make sure you, they don't, why is mama here? Is she Maureen? This woman, I, I'll pray for you. That woman, come madam. Is that your daughter? Come madam. Where are you coming from ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from
from area C. Area I'm C. No, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh? It's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead. I'm not a prophet of doom, mama. Please don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. I extend your life by the power of the Holy Spirit that the plague of death. See, let me prophesy upon someone here anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year i'm praying by the spirit now i'm praying by the spirit and in the name of jesus anyone that the spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the spirit of death i command that it is crushed now in jesus name what is your name my dear Maury, come. You will look at a beautiful lady like this. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being but no face. No face like this. I'm just seeing a blank face like this. Let me tell you what this means. It's a yoke of bad luck. That people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace that is upon you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into it right now. I stretch my hands to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you into that grace. I'm still praying for her. In the name of Jesus I declare. I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now. And that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. bad luck listen i'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before i pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of jesus i'm not praying for her i'm praying for someone now by the spirit of the lord but the lord is saying i should hold her as i pray for the person lord in the name of jesus this yoke of bad luck i'm speaking now please help them this yoke of bad luck by the power of the Holy Spirit where good things don't seem to happen to you in the name of Jesus let it be broken now 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 now let me pray for you be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away this that I'm seeing and in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We're going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen. Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not, but well, you're married. Yes, sir. Come and stand here and watch the God of wonders. I don't know you. Madam, from Overflow 3? You are from Overflow 3. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Why did you come? Your name is Maureen. What do you do, madam? Hold on. I'm a businesswoman. You're a businesswoman. Where? I used to sell at the young, um, Grand Canoe. But right now, the business is... Scattered. Do you know why I'm asking you? No. I must pray for you because this thing is not only you there is nobody doing well in your family your entire family this is what i'm seeing is a spirit huh? except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you you will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept is that true if i'm lying just say i'm lying where are you from from a new Anambra state. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the state Anambra. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, 
the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you, be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Please help them. Be free in the name of Jesus. An Ambra state. Be free in the name of Jesus. I'm still seeing the map in my vision. Be free in the name of Jesus. My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago. And the woman told you it will not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman and she stood and told you that it will not be well. Because what you were saying about her was not what she did. Hold my hands. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the scourging tongues of men. The scourging tongues of men. Except you know where you stand. A cause, causeless shall not stand. But if there is a cause, it will stand though. It will stand. Are we together now? I will pray. Where are your siblings, madam? Hi. This woman, no. You are not here alone. Where are the rest? Call them. Just stand where you call. What is their name? AGK. Quickly, please. And Victor. AGK, come. And, and who? Victor. That is and Victor. Yes. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small my boy. Son, yes. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy, you are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, are you married? Yes. You have a son. Yes. Your son's name too is Victor. Yes, he's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you are talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Then Let the boy come. Son. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? Huh? There are two boys, small boys that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is the little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know, let me tell you, these small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with because most of what they steal they don't need it that's how you know it's a spirit are we together yes that's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy don't assume they will be spiritual by default my friend let me pray for you father Thank you for this adorable young man. And this guy has a great destiny. You see this boy. I'm looking at a star rising as I'm laying my hands on him. This is what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. You will be a great man. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold this woman. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, what do you do? A medical sales representative. You are a medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? Yes. You are a sincere person, eh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Eh? 
April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, come. The power of God is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this thing that I'm seeing tied to your waist. I lose it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the one trusting God for a child? Come. How long have you been married? Three years. Three years. Yes. No child. You too? Are you married? Five years. Four Five months. years. Four months. Yes. No child. No child. Doctor said after two surgeries, the same husband cannot impregnate me. He did surgery twice. Don't cry. Jesus is here. Huh? You went through two surgeries. Where is your husband? He's at home. He's at home. Don't cry. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? Greatland. You see, th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit. Imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through. Sometimes we take some things for granted. Imagine the advices. Someone now will recommend and say, go to a herbalist. Go and do this. And don't cry, my sister. Two surgeries you went through. Mm. My head. Now, I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yes, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus. I declare supernatural miracle for you now release this woman now as I'm praying for you I'm praying for your husband wherever he is according to the time of life may you return with your miracle children it's over in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God my dear let me why is this woman here you are married to madam no child how long four years and um, five months four years five months where are you coming from Jigawa state from Jigawa state please come oh dear all walk walk for all the stunning things around all walk walk for all the stunning things around all walk walk for all the stunning things around why God is dealing with these issues because he has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness is fruitfulness from any dimension any dimension look at this woman look at these women crying I may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in I think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family that you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from my sister please don't cry who brought you here you came alone Sarah. Huh? Sarah. oh dear put your hand on your stomach is she a christian she's she's a christian okay it doesn't matter whether you are a muslim or christian the Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness. Let it be broken right now. Look at this. Let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing. But I'm seeing something come out of you. And you are coughing. Coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. 
let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no I'm you came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there be freedom now. I'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh i have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed I'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me and I'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam Kano. Kano. is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's Daddy something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you think come out of you opportunity to hand their lives opportunity to hand their lives over you just act like this just to show honor and respect people i will pray for you there is a name that is above every other name and in the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon your womb and I declare the embargo of barrenness five years barrenness let it be broken right now look at this let it be broken right now I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach this is what I'm seeing and then I'm seeing you coughing you are now beginning to cough this is what I'm seeing I don't know what it is that I'm seeing but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing coughing something out in the name of jesus christ let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is 
we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we are not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from Huh? Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. Are you alone? No, I'm You came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen, you see, if you love the Lord and you see God attacking. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there be freedom now. I'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh i have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed I'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me and I'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam Kano. Kano. is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's Daddy something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you number one god is going to give you the fruit of the womb number two god is restoring your finances you hear what i'm saying Amen. god is restoring your finances Amen. this is a serious issue as you are here coming now the financial trouble you are into is only god that can bring you out Amen. is that true god is going to help you madam put your hand on your stomach in the name of jesus christ why are they here six graduates no job in the name of jesus christ father by your mercy and by your grace let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman just keep her down in the name of jesus i declare by the power of the holy spirit everything that is wrong be corrected now in the name of jesus sir please can you hold my hands in the name of jesus i speak over your finances there is a grace that can restore and i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ madam let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick you are the both of you where are you coming from you are here in zaria yes and you are, yes i know your face six graduates no job yes sir including you yes sir come no but there are Can six people yes but there's no job for yes, them sir. can we agree that god will give them a job 
Yes, sir. And you too. Let's pray. Come. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is an anointing that is coming upon you, eh? and is for the sake of your family. In the name that is above all names, I release this grace upon you, and I pray, let the embargo of joblessness be broken now. Even on both of you, I use you as a point of contact to pray now. Something is leaving this lady's hand, you. Something is leaving your hand. I cast that yoke now. In the name of Jesus, your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. Liberty for all of you. Liberty. I open the doors of jobs. In Jesus' name I pray. Why is he here? You are a graduate. Six. From where, please? From Abuja. Abuja. Yes. You are a school of ministry student. Madam, let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Nasarawa State. Yes, are you married? Bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit. The hand of God is coming upon someone. Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous. Please bring the person. Let's save time. Father, I establish this victory over this lady's life. The oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever. Broken now and broken forever ah, we don't have time our time is gone but the lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed i'm seeing this guy carry not you now i'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in kaduna state Hello, Kim Matona. Hello, Hello, Kim Matona. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim Matona. Hello, I declare that anyone under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity i stand by the hand of god whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help them. 
please i'm just using two of you as a point of contact but i'm seeing a spirit this is an ancient spirit the way this thing works is that men rise the moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing they must die this is the spirit i'm seeing please listen i'm not i'm just using them and i'm ministering the way god is showing me these are not the only families with this thing but the lord is saying i should deal with it now provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle you no death will touch you but the moment you touch that bar you are going down and the lord wants to destroy it because god is using both of you to start a new program in the family i will follow the lion i will follow the lamb I will follow the lion. I will follow the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of our family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter. And truly may she be the deliverer of her family. In the name of Jesus. A lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family. And that spirit is going to start driving her to run away. So I'm telling you in advance, you are going to see the person stand up to start running away. It's, it's not even this lady I'm talking about. This is somebody in the crowd. You will not even you will not be in control of yourself. It's a spirit because I'm about to rebuke it right now. Hmm. Father, I thank you for the Bonire family and by extension the various families. The altar that sits upon this family. Even the lawful captives came Zakata shall be delivered even the lawful captives i break that yoke now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood that ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken i open up the door of increase rise to the senate of your profession i forbid the spirit of death once and for all In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an issue that is age long. Let me tell you this a mighty deliverance has happened to this family. This thing I'm telling you fought their grandparents, fought their parents, and if not delivered now, will still fight them. If there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family, you rise to a position and crash down. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar, scatter that altar forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. It took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble. Now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from?
Just, just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa yes, State. Where are you from? Ebony State. Ebony State. Ebony State. I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where's your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up, stand up. Please stand up, stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, here. sir. What do you do? I'm a lecturer in the university. You're a lecturer? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man, you, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, all, you but sir. you are a brilliant man. It's Thank even you, too grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, it's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you are too exceptional. Yes, sir. And you are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here, yes, sir. Yes, sir. but somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about that you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department sorry sir Political science, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. What do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything. No, sir. I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Huh? That trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you and I release your destiny. Amen. Both for you and your wife, Amen. I decree and declare. Scale new heights in your profession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. There is a friend in your life and the Lord is telling me to tell you to be careful. There is a friend in your life. Be careful. I won't say more than that. Be careful. What God has joined, let no man put asunder. I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Bokos. Huh? Bokos. From Joss. Not state of origin, where you came from, that you left it and came. Huh? I want to pray for you. What do you do? I, I, I'm a secretary. You are what? I'm a secretary. You are a secretary? Yes, sir. Come, let me pray for you. I, One of these days, we'll just trust God and do a night vigil, honestly, so that we can deal with this issue seriously. You may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss? Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have, what they call that pregnancy, that they'll have to do, um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy. Like it's breached. This is what I'm saying. The pregnancy that looks like it's... That will open you up and carry something out. Where are you coming from? Josh. What did they say is wrong with you? Um, multiple fibrosis. No. A man... Don't feel embarrassed. Can I talk to you? A man used to come in a dream. Huh? Yes. and sleep with you yes, sir. is that true yes. that's what brought this pregnancy 
I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically, you would think that, okay, you check it. There is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? May this place remain a place of solutions. Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically? and had strange go and listen to my teaching the mystery of the serpent and the woman my sister can i pray for you you believe in jesus look at this adorable lady look at imagine a woman carrying this for three years is that pregnancy it does a human being stay three years in the stomach are you married of course imagine what this this means to her marital life. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at what is happening to the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by God, let it be uprooted in this body. Is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father, it must be uprooted. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus. By a strange mystery, may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep her down there. Madam, let me pray for you. What do you want the Lord to do for you? I'm believing him for a life partner. Life partner. Do you believe God can give you a life partner? Yes, sir. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. You are born again. Father, the Bible says male and female, he created them. She's not embarrassed. She's standing sincerely and telling you that I came so that God will bless me with a life partner. I lay my hands upon you and I decree and declare may god bring a responsible man to your life Amen. you will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow Amen. in the name of jesus christ i declare it so and for all these people standing i pray for them may the lord himself bring miracles over their life Amen. in jesus name i pray i may not have time to minister to all of you one by one please forgive me huh coincidentally i'm going to just tomorrow I'll be in just Saturday, Sunday. I'm ministering in a conference. I'm excited. I'll be in House on the Rock at Rayfield. Saturday and Sunday. I'm in just. But let me pray for you. All of you who came all the way. My dear, look at me. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. With all your heart? Yes, sir. I drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life say amen amen you you may not understand what i'm saying but let me repeat myself i drive i didn't say god drove him in the name of jesus christ as one who loves you well eh? i drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life amen in the name of jesus i'm amen. not looking down it is god's will that all men be saved but then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God.
can we still pray for the sick how many of you are trusting god for healing let me see your hands out right there okay this is what is going to happen it's okay I'm, I'm going to pray for you 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 came you brought them okay i'm going to pray for you now you just relax now please because of time those under the anointing just leave them if there's no usher hold on a lady usher place your hand on that girl any lady usher release her now out in the name of jesus let it come to an end now and forever release her destiny release her family in the name of jesus christ let there be restoration let there be testimonies please this is how we are going to do it because our time is already gone we are going to do three things at the same time please listen number one you are going to be submitting your prayer requests number two those who are trusting god for healing in the various overflows please aside from those that i prayed for for barrenness if your reason of coming here is barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i want you to come to overflow one i want to pray for you myself aside from that please you are trusting god for a healing miracle i want you to move to your various overflows so those at overflow one move to the front of your projector stand overflow two the same thing overflow three the same thing those by the roadside the roadside down to second equa join overflow two you can join overflow two please ushers protocol pr department coordinate yourself to help them please so that the people know what they are doing praise the lord those in here you can come you can come the lord bless you now there are going to be men and women of God scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you now please listen just a touch is enough you don't have to start explaining and telling the men of god this is a problem sometimes god can give them words if they don't don't worry just a touch and you will go back i want you to believe this that's why you came are we together while that is happening if you have your prayer request here you can just wave it and pass it let there be an usher okay um peace is here you can pass it let there be an usher or somebody please um the various departments coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this let's make it fast those online um you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests and we're going to pray on it right now please quickly quickly A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one um, pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three overflow three pastor Femi and Kenny and ima go to overflow two also extend to those by the roadside extend to those by the roadside did you get let me pray for you pastor lawrence come i will pray for you and then you will join those at overflow three in the name of jesus christ grace for you by the power of the holy spirit let the anointing let the grace of the spirit come upon you in the name of jesus christ amen and amen now please worship team you give us songs of the spirit while we are ministering and as soon as hands are laid on you you can go back rejoicing those who are seated don't be careless be praying in the spirit 
because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests if you are yet to submit yours just wave it and there will be someone to reach you in the name of Jesus father we decree and declare that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have do a quick walk in the life of your people in the name of Jesus do a quick walk in the life of your people in the name of Jesus hallelujah someone will fall under the anointing here once that happens the power of God will start move to heal right here those in front here okay so I can start praying now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed praise the Lord please everyone stand say after me in the name of Jesus whether you are inside or outside say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now lift up your voice and begin to pray please begin to pray name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here that by the grace of God this will be the last time you have to visit this issue please pray please pray our time is gone but let's make use of the time stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus Christ we declare and we agree as a family of faith that this request will turn into testimonies in your life we declare that this request turn into supernatural testimonies the same way I am standing upon them I decree you stand upon every situation that is represented here in the name of Jesus Christ I know that they are still praying for a few people but let me just pray the final prophetic blessing on you because our time is gone It says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I decree and declare, every economic hardship that is bringing the saints to their knees and causing them to compromise, I declare that you are exempted from it now. Every prayerlessness represented in this place that the grace to pray seems to have gone down in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar anybody introduced by the devil into your life or your circle to destroy you I severe you from them right now in Jesus name I speak favor over your life and I declare in the name of Jesus walk in favor 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 therefore God has exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name it says that at the mention of that name every knee must bow i declare whatever must bow in your life from tonight let it bow right now let me pray for you finally and especially for those of us who are not within this city if you traveled far and came i'm praying for you now in the name that is above all names to all our visitors and all those who connect with us from far that includes those from our social media platforms i decree and declare whatever the issue of concern is that brought you here return with the answers now return with the answers now You will not need to tell people you came here there will be the radiance and the glory of the spirit upon your life i declare that every door that has refused to open even as the lord kept revealing here i enforce it and we call that door open now you are blessed here but not yet blessed here you are blessed here but not yet blessed here I declare completion for you now in the name of Jesus Christ hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall
Let the rain 